Now that you understand what it means for two variables to be related, I'm going to discuss how we look for variable relationships with different combinations of variables. The first bivariate relationship we will consider is the relationship of one categorical and one quantitative variable. We look for this relationship by looking for differences among groups on a quantitative variable. How does difference indicate relationship? Well, I'm glad you asked. When we speak of groups, we are referring to the different categories of a single categorical variable. If the groups differ on a quantitative variable, then the categorical variable is related to that quantitative variable. We detect a variable relationship when we notice that changes in one variable, in this case, different categories of a categorical variable, occur with changes in another variable, in this case, a quantitative variable. Before we look at an example to clarify this concept, here are three steps we're going to take to look for the relationship of a categorical and quantitative variable. First, we will look at a picture. Specifically, we're going to illustrate group differences on a quantitative variable with side-by-side -side box plots. My favorite graph and more than one of them at the same time. It doesn't get much better than that. Second, we will calculate five number summaries for each category of the categorical variable. Finally, we're going to calculate the mean and standard deviation so that we can include these in a table with the five number summaries. Here's a side-by-side -side box plot. The units of analysis are automobiles. We want to determine if the categorical variable transmission type is related to the quantitative variable, gas mileage. A box plot illustrates the five number summary. Minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, and maximum. If there is no relationship of transmission type to gas mileage, we should see approximately the same distribution of gas mileages for both automatic and manual transmissions. This would mean that transmission type makes no difference in gas mileage, so transmission type and gas mileage would not be related. So do you see how analyzing the differences in gas mileages for manual and automatic transmissions is how we can detect if there's a relationship of gas mileage to transmission type? In these box plots, we do see a relationship because there are different gas mileages for different transmission types. The distribution of gas mileages is higher on the gas mileage scale for manual transmissions than for automatic transmissions. The transmission variable, which is categorical, is related to the gas mileage variable, which is quantitative. All right, let's take a look at how I created this box plot. Here's an R script. First, we must load the data. I'm going to use a data set that's built into R. The statisticians who maintain R have included many data sets so that someone teaching statistics, like moi, can use these data for examples as I'm doing now. The data set we're going to use is called MT Cars. These data were taken from a 1974 issue of Motor Trend magazine. The data include the design and performance of 32 automobiles from model years 1973 and 1974. Clearly, this is a historical data set, so the results we obtain in this study may not apply to more modern automobiles. To load build-in data, we use the data function with the name of the data set. So let's view the data. In the environment window, you see that the data have now been loaded 
because we now see the number of observations and variables. We will focus on two of these variables. The categorical variable is AM, the transmission variable. The AM designation is short for automatic and manual. The quantitative variable is MPG, for miles per gallon, or gas mileage. Here's the box plot function. The first parameter looks a bit odd. The quantitative and categorical variables have been added as a single parameter. They're joined by a squiggly line called tilde. We often use tilde in R, so we need to understand what it means. It's shorthand for as a function of. We can read this first parameter as miles per gallon as a function of transmission type. In other words, we want the box plot to show us the distribution of miles per gallon, but we want to do it as a function of, or separately for, transmission type. The other three parameters are familiar. I labeled the horizontal and vertical axes, and I added a title to the graph. When we run this, we get side-by-side -side box plots. This is all very well, except if I put it like this in my report, the reader will not know what is meant by a transmission type of zero and a transmission type of one. I don't even know what that means. We need the data code book. Well, guess what? When the data are built into R, the code book is built in as well. To see it, we ask for help on the data set name. Now I could do that by typing MT cars into the help window, but here's another way. When you want help with the name of a function or data set, you can type this in the console window or put it in your script. That's what I've done. And proceed the name with a question mark. There's the code book. If I look at the variable AM, I see that zero stands for automatic and one means manual. Let's change our box plot to include these labels. Now R calls different categories of a categorical variable factors. We tell R the names for the categories by using the factor function. The first parameter of the function is the variable of interest. AM. The second parameter contains the levels or categories as they are currently coded in the data. In this case, that's 0 and 1. The third parameter provide the labels that we would like associated with each of the levels. Sensibly enough, we need to put the labels in the same order as the levels. OK, I've changed the variable AM to a factor, so let's run the box plot command again. That's much better. This would be fine as it is, but just to show off some additional features and to invite you to explore these features, I'm going to add a bit of color. Here's the final product. The median is about five miles per gallon higher for manual transmissions than for automatic transmissions. In fact, the first quartile of the gas mileage distribution for cars with manual transmissions is higher than the third quartile of gas mileage for cars with automatic transmissions. So the entire interquartile range for manual transmissions is above the interquartile range for automatic transmissions. Studying side-by-side -side box plots of quantitative distributions to determine if they are similar or different is a first step in exploring the relationship of a categorical and quantitative variable. In the next video, we'll look at additional steps to fine-tune our understanding of this relationship.